as you can see this is the Xenes Lab uh, drawing tablet review it's uh, the pen tablet medium bundle SE in a white edition so let's go ahead and open this here we have a, a paper if you want to register with this uh, QR code and uh, here we have the tablet very nice so let's put it aside for now here we have our pen as you can see we have two pens it's dependent on your preference and uh, we have a lot of uh, head of the pens or you can exchange it to whatever you want here we have our controller of uh, that we can customize to our preference too for example we can put it to make the process bigger or smaller or also do shortcuts it's very handy actually it's very nice you can put it aside and all this in a very good quality I can see in here so let's put it aside for now all right in here we have some cables and lastly oh yeah we have a very nice case for our tablet so I can open it now now oh, wow this is very nice in a very good quality oh yeah and it's very premium too I don't know if you can see this it's very nice all right, so that's what we have inside the Xenes Lab Pen Tablet Medium Bundle SE Edition. This is the white edition. Uh, they have a black edition as well, but I like this white edition. Uh, we have this glove that I didn't open. It's available too. It's very nice. So I don't think I'm gonna use it that much. But you know, it's available for the people who would like it. And also we have these two cables. Uh, they both have a type A for the charging and the type C for plug-in and uh, for the controller we will set it up in the computer so when once you turn it on as you can see it have this LED screen in here but still we don't uh, have the driver for it so you can see exactly what you're gonna push and what you're gonna do in here which is very good and you can just push this like this and we turn off and the same goes for uh, the tablet it has the same turn on button in here or a slider so you can just slide it and as you can see this is it has a, a LED light in it which I think you can uh, customize the color of it too so it's a very nice touch that they did in here so this is the medium they have a bigger one but it's very slim and it's very nice feel to it it's kind of matte touch in, in this so this is very good all right so i will turn this off and lastly we have uh, the pen in here with uh, its own casing because we have two pens a smaller one for the people who prefer to have a, a small pen or a thinner pen as you can see with the eraser in here that you can use this has two buttons and the bigger one I prefer the bigger one so I'm gonna compare it with a Wacom pen that I already have in here so this is the regular Wacom pen not the pro version as you can see and this is the Xenes Lab 
This is uh, slightly bigger, but uh, the, the pro version of the Wacom is also bigger. But this one it has a rubber in here, which is very good for the hand. Alright, so for the people who are familiar with the, the Wacom pen, this is uh, next to them, as you can see. It's not that much of a difference, except this one is a bigger one. And it has this rubber pinning in here. All right, and also they provide these uh, connectors. So I guess this one for the Bluetooth. And this one for the people who doesn't have a uh, type A for, uh, for uh, to connect with this one. They only have a, a type C, so you can use this one in here. All right, so now let's go ahead and set this up on the computer. All right, now before we're gonna install the drivers, make sure to plug your tablets and also make sure to put that uh, Bluetooth for uh, the key controller. So this way they would work and also make sure to turn it on too. All right, so let's go ahead and open a browser and I will just look for xinslab.com. All right, there it is. So we'll open it. All right, as you can see, this is the white bundle. And also they have the black one in big and uh, medium. But for us, we're here for uh, the drivers. So to download them, just go to support and you can either choose download drivers or you can check this quick start guide. And this is like a tutorial for you to understand everything about the tablets. But we we'll just go and download the drivers. Alright, as you can see, they have the Mac edition too, and the Windows and the Linux. For me, I have a Windows, so I will just press download. And I will start downloading it. Alright, so I'm just gonna press open. And uh, we'll end up with this dialog. So make sure to press the Xin Slab Pen Tablet and also the Quick Keys if you have it with the bundle. So just check them both and also check the software li license and install. Alright, now we have the installation complete. So I'm just going to press continue. Let me close this. And you can uh, choose either the guided setup or the manual setup. So let's uh, choose the guided setup in here. And this will basically just show you a uh, screenshots of uh, what we have so we just one click on these arrows in here to understand everything about it all right so these are the application that they are supported from uh, since lab all right and let's press finish all right so this is the interface of uh, the driver of from since lab it's very nice so this is the home button uh, in here you can see the percentage of your uh, pen tablets so you know exactly when to charge it and also your pens that you are using and also the percentage of uh, the quick keys in here and in this gear icon you can actually import some user settings if you want or if you already have it before and you know and you switch uh, your windows or something you can actually import it and save it if you want all right, the second button for the, the pen tablets, the tablet itself. So in here you can uh, actually you can see in here that they are illustrated on Photoshop and you can add more application using this plus icon in here. By you pressing it, you can choose whatever application that is compatible with the device. But for me, I will have only these two. So in here you can actually customize it if you want to use it as a, a mouse in this one or in general you can see that you can uh, also change the corner lights the LED lights that you have on the tablet you can change the color of it and you can have a preview in here and also you can uh, assign it to each application for example illustrator you can put it this red in here and for Photoshop you can put it this blue and this is very good for you to know exactly what you are going to do and also the brightness of it as you can see 
all right so i will just keep it in photoshop and uh, also you can customize these three buttons in here if you hover over each one you can see exactly what button it is as you can see there is a light in here so you can customize everything so i will just keep it like this for now and also make sure to keep this windows ink checked so this way you can use the pen pressure all right so let's jump to the three button pen and then the same thing you can customize everything about it it's already in photoshop because i already choose it for the pen tablet but it's also the same you can see that i'm in here in photoshop so you can uh, customize the pen pressure it's basically like any other drawing on tablet you can see there is the eraser in here on top or in the ending of the, the pen and also you can you know assign shortcuts or keystroke to your three buttons in here and if you go to the advanced settings you can uh, you know have more settings for the pen tip and also the eraser and more for the pen tails in here all right now we'll go to the thin pen if you're gonna use it you, you know basically it's the same thing as the other pen only it has two buttons in here all right so let's uh, jump to my quick keys this is very very good i really like this uh, idea of having a, a quick keys aside so you can actually customize everything about it two or more you can for example this wheel you can change it to whatever you want by pressing in the middle you can put it to rotate and the brush size and layers you know it's very handy for action or for many many other things and also you can customize everything about it for example you can click on it and choose the mode that you want for example if you want to set the four of them in the same mode you can or you can disable whatever mode you want you can you can only have one mode if you want you can do that but i like to have four in here so that's good and the same go for these uh, buttons in here you will actually see the undo written in this LED screen. If you press on it, you can, you know, go directly to the undo because it will be under it and the same for the other eight buttons in here. And also you can switch between mode too by clicking on this button in here. You can switch it to the pins. You will have each mode to its own, uh, to its own set if you want. And you can have many many other sets if you want but for now i will just keep it in the sketch one all right so lastly is the preferences this is where you're gonna uh, customize the area of uh, where you want to draw maybe some people would like to have a smaller area of drawing you can do that you can just you know choose a defined portion and you can just choose it by yourself like this or you can put in the exact numbers if you want Right, so I'm just gonna press cancel and I will keep it in the full table area for now all right so that is all for the, the pen preferences and also the customization and you know you can discover even more for example you can put everything to sleep in the pen tablets you can put it to 90 minutes or 30 minutes maybe if you go outside and you forgot to turn it off you can do that and the same goes for the my quick uh, keys in here all right so let's jump to photoshop and uh, before we're gonna do that uh, maybe some people they will experience that their tablet is not working good once the, the driver is, is uh, installed so just make sure to restart your computer or your uh, mac and then use it again and this will uh, sort it out all right so let's go and open photoshop All right, now in here in Photoshop, I'm actually using the, the tablet with the pen. So let's go to file and create a new document, which you can also have a shortcut for that if you want. All right, so we'll just keep this like this and that would be okay. All right, so let's make a new layer using the, the quick keys in here. So I will just press on it and this will open as a, a new layer and that would be okay. And let's uh, switch to the brushes and here you can actually paint and you know try your pen pressure if you want also you can you know customize it by removing some of the spacing and also having it in the pen pressures in here 
Also, you can add a transfer in here so you can actually control the, the opacity. All right, so I will just make the process bigger and then we see, as you can see. It's basically like any other tablet. And uh, I think this is really good. It's working very, very good. So I'm using the, the quick keys to zoom in and zoom out. So now if I press in the middle, I can change it to rotate and actually rotate my canvas. And again, you can one click and change it to the brush size. And this will allow me to make the brush bigger and smaller. And if I one click again, this will allow me to control the layers in here, as you can see. I can have as many layers as I want. I can control them by, by switching this wheel in here. This is not useful. I will change this. I like to have it in rotate and zoom in. It's very good, especially for the rotation. If you are painting or something, you can actually rotate it very easy, making the brush bigger or smaller and actually paint like this. And also you can zoom in. Very good. All right. So that's it for this review. I hope that you enjoy it and it will be a little bit helpful for you if you want to buy it in the future. Check uh, all the links in the description below. You can use them to buy this product. And don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more videos to come. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching.